Mr. Attorney General, thank you for joining us today. I respect thank your you. willingness to be here. Thank you, you testified a few minutes ago, I'm not able to invoke executive privilege. That's up to the President. Has the President invoked executive privilege in the case of your testimony here today? He has not. Then what is the basis of your refusal to answer these questions? Senator Kane, the President has a constitutional... I understand uh, that, I'm, but the President hasn't asserted it. Well, I'll you give... You said you don't have the power to assert the power of executive privilege, so what is the legal basis for your refusal to answer these questions? I am protecting the right of the President to exert it, assert it if he chooses, and there may be other privileges that could apply in this circumstance. Well, I don't, I don't understand how you can have it both ways. The President can't not assert it, and you're, you've, you've testified that only the President can assert it, and yet I, I just don't understand the legal basis for your, for your refusal to answer. Well, what we try to do, I think most cabinet officials, others that you questioned recently, um, officials uh, before the committee, uh, protect the President's right to do so. If it comes to a point where uh, the issue is clear and there's a dispute about it, uh, at some point, uh, the president will either assert the privilege or not, or some other uh, privilege can be would be asserted. But uh, at this point, I believe it's premature uh, for You're me to— You're asserting a privilege uh, that the president, uh, you've testified. Deny, it'd be premature for me to deny the president a full and intelligent uh, choice about executive privilege. That's not— uh, you, you, necessary at this point. You testified a few minutes ago that, quote, we were asked for our opinion. Who asked for your opinion? You mean? You we were, you testified we were asked for our opinion. You my understanding is, um, I believe I'm correct in saying the president uh, has said so. Uh, that so I, he didn't I, ask you directly? I thought you were asking about the privilege. So no, no, I'm you sorry. You want to go back to I'm the, saying, uh, you, uh, you said, Quote, we were asked for our opinion, you, you and Mr. Rosenstein. I believe that was appropriate for me to say that because I think the president... No, I'm said, just asking you, I'm just who saying asked why, you for your opinion? Yeah, who asked you for yes, your opinion? Yes, right. The president asked for our opinion. All right, so you just testified as to the content of a communication to that the president. That is correct, but I believe he's already revealed that. I, I believe I'm correct in saying that. That's why I indicated that when I answered that question. But uh, uh, if he hasn't, and I'm in error, so you I would have uh, uh, constricted his constitutional right of privilege. That, so you're, you're being, correct. You're being selective about the use. No, of I'm not intentionally. I'm doing so only because I believe he made that. In in any of your discussions with the president about, about, about the firing of James Comey, did the question of the Russian investigation ever come up? I cannot answer that because it was a, a communication by the president, or if any such occurred, it would be a communication that he has not waived. But he has not asserted the executive privilege. He has not asserted executive privilege Do, do you today. believe the Russians interfered with the 2016 elections? It appears so. The intelligence community seems to be united in that. But I have to tell you, uh, Senator King, I know nothing but what I've read in the paper. I've never received any detailed briefing on how uh, hacking occurred or how information was alleged to have uh, influenced well, between the campaign. The, between the election, there was a memorandum from the intelligence community on October 9th that detailed what the Russians were doing after the election, before the inauguration. You never sought any information about this uh, rather dramatic attack on our country? On uh, no, you never, was, you never asked for a briefing or attended a briefing or uh, read well, the intelligence reports? You might have been very critical of me if I, as an active part of the campaign, was seeking intelligence relating to uh, uh, something that might be relevant to the campaign. I'm not sure that I'm would I'm not talking about the campaign. I'm talking about the, what the Russians did. You received no briefing on the Russian active measures in connection with the 2016 election. No. I don't believe I ever did. Let's go to your letter of May 9th. You said, based upon my evaluation and for the reasons expressed by the deputy, was that a written evaluation? My evaluation was an evaluation that had been going on for some months. Is there a written evaluation? I did not make one. Uh, I think you could classify Deputy Attorney General Rosenstein's um, memorandum as a an evaluation, uh, one that, um, uh, and he was the direct supervisor of the FBI director. 
and his evaluation was based 100 percent on the handling of the Hillary Clinton emails. Is that correct? Well, in a number of other matters, but uh, I, as I recall, but he did explicitly lay out uh, the errors that he thought had been made in that uh, uh, process by the director of the FBI. I thought they were cogent and accurate and uh, far more significant than I think a lot of people have understood. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.